The Stone Mansion, located in Winchester, Indiana, was constructed in 1872 for General Ashel Stone and his wife Lydia. General Stone was a state senator before and after the Civil War and became a general in 1862 when the governor, Oliver P. Morton, appointed him as the state quartermaster general. He was also the president of the First National Bank in Winchester and a major stockholder for the Grand Rapids and Richmond Railroad. General Stone had seven houses built across the street from where he would have the home built to house the construction workers building it for him. Sparing no expense, he added many intricate details, such as six fireplaces made of marble and ported from the same quarry Michelangelo sourced his marble. Tilted windows upstairs for stargazing, which he much enjoyed, along with many detailed woodworks throughout the house. On entering this beautiful mansion, it's noted that although the doors themselves were very tall, the door handles were placed very low to accommodate the short height of the general and his wife. The general is thought to still watch over this once magnificent home along with his wife, and some believe that they have indeed seen him. We can't help but wonder what the walls have seen the grand parties they have witnessed. In more recent years, one owner lived in the basement with his expansive vinyl record collection, and he is believed to visit the mansion in spirit form to this day. With reports of footsteps, shadow figures, and some reporting seeing the general himself, we were all eager to experience these phenomena ourselves. So come with us as we investigate this lovely historic home. last owner he sold and he traded or sold albums that oh, was wow. it. so there was 4,200 albums in this room in the next room over hmm. and that was just the last of it so it was absolutely he said at one time he had over a million 45s and we're back in there and I went or back in the um, the kitchen area Mm. And I wouldn't be surprised because you can just a narrow walkway clear up 10 feet tall The whole area monstrous. So I wouldn't be surprised now. We don't know what initially the rooms were for We have no no clue right now Just make it probably just basic basement stuff mm -hmm. uh, This is still a dirt floor though. They don't know why Hopefully there's a well or something underneath it because when you had money you had the well on the inside. Very rarely do you see that. We've only seen one house with it in there, but I wasn't able to convince them not to tear it down. So but it was right in the kitchen. The lady who who you probably talked to, Kate. Me? Yeah. She her first house when she got married was that tan one. Really? And uh, and she doesn't like to admit it because she doesn't want to hear anything about ghosts. <laughs> but she she would see somebody walk pacing back and forth, pacing back and forth with a really low lift, like a candle. Mm -hmm. And then they would just quit. So she would call the, call the restaurant at the time and said, there's somebody in your place. And, no, trust me, there's nobody in there. The doors are locked and nobody's in there. No. She said, saw that quite a bit. So she just looked, oh, not going to say anymore. <laughs> she shared that story the other day, so. Could have been. Yeah. The general is a stargazer. So this room was his room. Uh, didn't have that back wall, so he could go to all these windows and check out the stars. So all the windows are pushed forward and have a small tilt backwards so he could look out. Just a very slight tilt. So he could stargaze and he knew what constellation was out what window. So he was into a lot of things. Even these uh, these trees out here, the mulberry trees, he wanted to grow silk for. 
So they plant a bunch of mulberry trees, and there's still a bunch of mulberry trees. Hmm. Breeze coming in now. Well, a thunderstorm was coming in, and so I went to shut the windows and I shut this window, put the screen down, and it was a full apparition walking right toward me. Hmm. A little guy, maybe five four. Was it? Yeah, the general, general. Yeah. too yeah. tall. Yeah. But there, just a small frame of person with his head down. And beautiful, beautiful color suits, violet into a blue. And like this into a blue, it was really beautiful. And then the pants were blue. And uh, ruffles, but no tie. So I don't know what it, it wasn't a tux, yeah. unless you want to wear the tie. But he just head down, walked, took three steps at me, and just disappeared. So, hmm. wasn't coming at me, but it wasn't aggressive or anything. Hmm. So, a lot of things we see is just doesn't make any sense. So, yeah. We I've seen five apparitions here. Most people say they go their whole ghost bed without seeing them. Mm -hmm. That's all I've seen is have full apparitions here. Yeah. And one of them was outside. And one of the guys that gives the tours, he says he sees about five outside by this. Never really known to have that many outside, unless in the graveyard or something, but yeah. That's how I do it. Really? Outside? Yeah, no, no. That's how I do it. How tall was the general? Not quite five foot. Five eleven and three quarters and I don't know, time of death or as tall as he ever was. And his wife was shorter. <laughs> um, other apparitions, I know, like I say, the girl at the top of the steps, I saw, oh, this door here, I saw when I was on this side, I saw somebody walk in front of the door on the back side, and then when I was out there, I saw somebody walk on the back side of the door, uh, so he went this way, and then on the back side, he went this way. I have yet to see the journey. I'd love to say I did, but I didn't. As other people have. Some people claim to see somebody about his size. Do we know? I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, but I've never even seen anybody his size. But stick figures, yeah, one time they asked for the general to come out somewhere, and he came. He was real, oh, sitting in a chair that was really short, and they said, are you the general? Raise your hand and on the SLS. So, no, did that mean he's a general? I can raise my hand too. But, so, do ghosts lie? I don't know. As the tour concludes and night starts to fall with stories of apparitions, noises, stick figures, we start to get ready to investigate this old and impressive piece of history. We settle in to see what we can find. The team of Debbie, Robert, and Anne head into the house. The team decides they want to first try out, doing what's known as the Estes Method. Now the Estes Method is named after where the method was first used. It was first noted to be used at the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado. Now if you're unfamiliar with the Estes Method, the theory is to have one person with soundproof headphones and blindfolds on focus on using the spirit box 
fed into the headphones. This way, this isolates the person from being able to hear any questions or see anything to allow them to become the sole receiver and focus completely on any responses that may come through the spirit box. General Stone, are you here with us? Are you with me? Miss Lydia, are you here with us? Not a good thing. Are we welcomed in your home? Sleep. Catpole. Are any of the other previous owners He here comes here? over. And again. How many are here in the home with us right now? Do you like when people come to visit your home? I don't know. Roger, are you here with us? Roger, what was your favorite type of music? Whistling. I can be. Can you tell us what room we're in right now? If you're not one of the three that I just asked, are you one of the different owners? Why has the, why did the home change hands so many times? Again, there's a lot of mumbling. I can't make out. Did the home change hands so many times because maybe there's a structural or people just couldn't afford to fix it up? Or did it change hands? Not intentionally. Or did it change hands because there's something else here? Ask about the face in the window. When Debbie took pictures outside, can you tell us who the face in the window was? Be careful. That's the biggest cold show. Be careful of what? The fate, whoever's face was in the window? The, <laughs> the devil. Are you saying that there's something bad here? And that's who the face in the window was? Can't. You can't tell us who it is? Are they stopping you from telling us who it is? Woman's voice, maybe. Man's voice, can't. Okay, so are you trying to tell us that there's somebody here stopping you from telling us? Do it. We're not in any type of danger being here, are we? How is that possible? Now, were there women on the upstairs when, they, when the girls were outside taking pictures? Can you tell us who they are? Is there somebody in the home pretending to be someone they're not? 
make it harder <coughs> sorry is there anyone here who means us harm my house yes we know it's your house is did Mr. Stone who just said it's your, his house? Or is it somebody else? If there's somebody else... Are you me. stupid? I don't like to think so. <laughs> Tell us your name. I'm going to ask you that a few more times. Tell us your name. Makes no makes no sense. What makes no sense? Snip it. Tell us who the man in the window was. Because we know there was somebody in the window when Debbie took a picture outside. Who are you? That hurts. I don't mean to hurt you or hurt your feelings. We just want to know who we're speaking with. How long have you been here? Why You're you, lying. Why are you still here? Foolish. Who's foolish? Maybe. Are there two different people having a conversation right now? Is that what Ann's hearing? Is two different people having a conversation right now between each other? If so, could you both tell us your names? Both your names? There's a lot of mumbling. I can't can't decipher what they're saying. So it definitely sounds like there's probably two different people having a conversation. Yeah. And that's what Here. Saying. What did you mean earlier when you said the devil? Was you trying to warn us there some, might be something bad here? Whoa. We're on camera. Yes, you are. <coughs> yes, you are. Is that okay? You got me. Are you saying that's who Debbie caught on camera? With? Don't even try it. Did Debbie catch you in the picture? Is that what you mean by it? You're on camera? I know I keep asking, but I'm still going to ask you. Can you please tell us who we're speaking with right now? I'm done. Do you mean you're done answering questions? Okay. You know when I said devil? Yeah. He asked, he had me ask who the face in the window was. Are you kidding me? No. So we're going to swap, we're going to have you sit over there and you ask questions for a bit, give you a break from it, because 
you get caught up in it and you don't realise. Okay. And then Robert's going to sit with the okay. thing on and see how that goes, see if we get different responses. Okay. With you asking questions. You got it. How did it feel? It was weird. There's a lot of mumbling that I can't, I couldn't decipher what they were saying. So I was trying very hard to listen, but it, it's... Hmm. You see it so often. And I guess this panel is not a good home and it's going to just be taken down. Yeah. So I have this little box in my hand. It's just a telephone. Looks to red. And you could maybe talk to us through it if you could try. Don't worry, that's all it is. It's a modern day telephone. I just saw a very faint, I saw a very faint orb of light yeah. go cross over top of the railings and disappear. There's no car, so it's not a, mm -hmm. not a headlight. Would we be able to ask you some questions? You could ask us questions too if you would like. Do we have General Stone here? Miss Lydia, maybe? Miss Wendy? Thank you. We apologize for visiting so late in the evening. <laughs> we do hope that's okay, that that's all right. We've just heard so many wonderful things about your beautiful home, we wanted to see it for ourselves. It's far more beautiful than I expected. General Stone, do you still do a lot of stargazing? Because I, we really like your stargazing windows you put in everywhere. Robert has a very special camera with him. If you step in front of his camera, we might be able to see you. That's a lot of activity in that room, but... I'm going to find you a little bit closer. Yeah. Is it lighting up, though? That one lights up differently because it's in the reset bulbs. Oh. So you don't really see it so easily until you're really close to it. Gotcha. That's one that we bought at the Winchester, at the Mitch, Whispers House in Mitchell, Indiana. Winchester is a beautiful town. Oh, the window's open. I'm like, I'm getting a nice breeze. Oh, maybe the I'll stand open. there in a bit. Yeah. Did the general own a bakery? Yes. 
He yes. owned a bakery? Yeah, he ran a bakery and supplied our, a lot of stuff to like the poor houses and stuff. Oh, and very nice. Very, what a nice man. Yes. That's actually how he made all, a lot of his money. He makes a lot of his money. I love the houses that you had built for the workers building the house. You're a very kind and generous man. We heard many good things about you, sir. Could we swap that toy out for a different one? Wow. You see it lighting up now. Mm. <laughs> Did you hear that? Like a little knock? I thought it was Roberts taking a step. But I thought he'd stopped by then, but maybe not. Maybe it was still the floor settling after it. I know, but I forgot. What? My phone. I have mine. My phone, so I don't have the I have mine. App. There we go. And then this is the other guest room. Hello. 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 Nancy, um, Are you watching over us to make sure that we behave ourselves? We mean no harm. We promise. We see you on the special camera. But all we see is a stick picker. Yep, and then gone. Is there one? When we first forward. started to, to come through, I, I thought I heard it and I just thought it was my imagination. We just got forward to the spirit doctor. Okay. Well then, let's move forward. And this was the Giles room. Is there anything that we can do for you? Could we maybe play you some music? Mm-hmm. We still have the special camera over to Robert. If you would like to come and stand in front of it and have your photograph taken. above we felt below and now we come down we're telling we above <laughs> we traveled from Florida to visit you sir We traveled from Florida to visit you, sir. It's still not a lot to cover. <laughs> Two floors. No, I didn't. 
Who's Mavis? I heard that, I'm, and then that just went off. Yeah, noise in the kitchen area, or the other room. And and mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you trying to make yourself known to us? If so, it's perfectly okay. That's what we're here for. Towards. Towards. That's what it said. Towards. Are you gonna come towards us? We'd appreciate that. Hello? How many are here? Did you just show the words? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, Thank that you. was a good one. Well done. Thank you. Did I just hear you? And a shuffling in the other room again. That way. Huh. With the sun on the rise, the team decides to pack up and get ready to leave. Stone Mansion is quite an interesting place to be. It has a lot of historical value and the man who built it has quite an interesting story. While we weren't able to capture anything obvious, we cannot say for sure that there is nothing here, only that we were unable to capture something definitive. There are many stories of apparitions being seen by quite a few different people. Maybe tonight just wasn't our night.